Hello and welcome to the homework video for uh, Tuesday, April the 28th for fourth grade. Uh, this is going to cover our uh, first lesson working with uh, finding the uh, angles and degrees uh, as parts of a circle. So let's go ahead and take a look at our homework. Um, so they, number two, they want us to give the measurement in degrees uh, for a straight angle that would be 180 degrees. Number four, if we are anything smaller than 90 degrees, we are going to have an acute angle. So I'm just going to abbreviate A. Anything larger than 90 degrees is going to be obtuse. Um, so number six, we have 60 degrees. That's going to be smaller than 90, so that's going to be an acute angle. Um, number seven, we didn't ask you to do, but that one would be a straight angle. Number eight, we did ask you to do, that would be a right angle because we have that little indicator there. And number nine, again, smaller, um, so that would be an acute angle. Number 10, so Anne started reading at 4 p.m. and finished at 4.20 p.m. Through what fraction of the circle did the minute hand turn? So we cannot use solely um, if we want to make it degrees, um, we cannot solely use just this part. We can't say that it went uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 twelfths. We could. And if we did that, we could say that it could be 1 third. Or if we are going to relate it to degrees, then we would take that and multiply it by six. Um, so uh, for instance, we would have 360 degrees. So each one of these particular parts uh, would be, I, I forget what I told you guys in the last video. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so let's see, uh, 360. So half of that would be 180. Uh, two thirds of that would be 120. So this one would be 120 if we did the angle for that. So those are the different ways that we could have that. Um, so you could say that it could be 4 twelfths. We could also say it would be 1 third because we've done that before. And then we could say it's 112 over 360 or 112 degrees. All right, uh, what kind of angle is shown? That would be straight. And then our last one. Um, how many uh, degrees are in an angle that runs uh, through one quarter of a circle? Again, going back to our example from before, that would be a 90 degree angle. So hope that helps you with the homework problems. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Again, our next lesson will be kind of engineering uh, some ways to get through that uh, if you don't have a protractor. Um, and then I'll try to manufacture a way that you can use kind of like a light board technique uh, with your screen, hold a piece of paper up, and uh, try to figure out what a rough estimate would be for the measurement of an angle using that. So hope you have a great day. That new lesson uh, will be coming out on Tuesday, same time as this video. So have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.